All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Merkah Kodash. Secondly, I would like to give double honors to our apostles, our elders, and our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heaviana 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp, Great Millstone Ban Yasharala Ban Kabad page. Coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, I pray this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And uh, just getting straight into this video today, as we can see, uh, what, what I have on the screen, I actually came across this um, this little meme. And uh, I'm going to read it very quickly, man. Even though this guy, um, Dr. Boyce Watkins, He's he's making this uh, particular statement, but it um it pretty much lines up with what the scriptures say as well too, man. Because we're going to just touch bases on the fact that our our people are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. And then you have these guys, as you see on the left of the screen, you have a uh, little Wayne, you have all these guys that uh, uh, profess that they're uh, so called prophets, and uh, uh, when you know they have those rappers be like they're street prophets and whatnot. But at the end of the day, man, if they're not pushing. Uh, uh, Yasharala, man, if they're not pushing Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, if they're pushing things of this world, guess what? They are of the world, man. All right. And they're lovers of the world. And we're going to get that scripture as well, too, because the Lord is not uh, 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 pleased with uh, uh, lovers of the world, man. And pretty much the Lord is not pleased with uh, uh, pretty much destroying his people, man. All right, because Jeremiah 23, roughly paraphrasing, it says, woe to you pastors. Now, here it is. You have pastors that are, that are supposed to know the scriptures. All right. But they err knowing the scriptures and knowing the true power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. But the Lord says, woe unto you pastors. What will you do when he comes to visit you? All right. So how much more for these goddamn uh, uh, trap rappers, drill rappers, and just these bullshit ass rappers in general, man. All right. Having our people minds uh, 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 influenced to do evil. All right. Now, let's read this quote real quick and we're going to go through a few scriptures and that'll be that, man. All right. Now, it says uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins on the right side, uh, the the, the bald headed dude over there, man, with the clean face and shit. Um, he said any rapper who encourages black men. All right. We're going to we're going to say black man for a lack of, uh, you know, just for, you know, for, for just for what it says. I'm just going to read it verbatim. But. Really and truly think about Israelites when we're reading this, okay? Because it's Israelites, all right? Now it says, any rapper who encourages black men to become alcoholics and drug addicts in an, is an enemy to the black community. We should not be glorifying self-destruction. And that's absolutely right. And not only to the um, so-called black community, but this also goes to show too, when you read Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse, uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, the, the, the 28th chapter, Verse 15 on down, and pretty much when you go through the, those curses, you're going to see specifically who it uh, applies to, man. All right? To the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? And that's what's uh, uh, a part of destroying the the, the, the the Israelite community, man. Because there's a lot of, what, drugs, and there's a lot of adultery that be that that be that that is being uh, uh, promoted, and definitely... Um, you know, drugs and alcohol, man. All right. Just pretty much being fucked up, being a real nigga. Like they like to say, I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? All this bullshit, man. But all that leads to destruction, man. All right. Because it's destroying the minds and, and influence. All right. Instead of us uh, 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 teaching uh, the correct ways and how to, uh, you know, live your life in a, in, a, in decency and order, our people are wise to do uh, evil and wickedness, man. All right. Wise to pull licks, pull scams, uh, drink, uh, 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 what do they call it? Waukesha, um, lean or whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? Just wise to, to do evil, man. All right. So with that being said, let's get um, let's get Jeremiah 4 and 22. All right. Let's start. Let's start there very quickly. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, because when we tell our people, you know, um, because you know, you know, you can according, you know, scriptures, you can drink, but it, it becomes a sin when you become drunk, man. All right, when you when you just become sloppy, wasted, drunk, man. All right. Now we tell our people that, and and they're not going to be wise to do that, man. We tell our people the uh, about not being addicted to drugs, uh, about not committing adultery. And our people, they don't want to do that because guess what? People that they that they look up to, all these rappers and all these entertainers and all these celebrities, especially um, 
on, on these television shows they have now, such as your Big Brothers, your Atlanta Housewives, and uh, you know those reality TV shows, what they're doing is pretty much program, programming. That's why they call them television programs, man. All right, because they're programming simple-minded ass people to do what, man? To make that false reality their so-called reality, man. And which goes back to the scriptures. It says uh, that the Lord is saying that his people, man, possess a pronoun, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because it's our people that get consumed by all these fucking philosophies and all these rudiments in this world. All right. Matter of fact, with that being said, if I may real quickly, all right, let's get, uh, 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 what's that? Colossians. I believe that's Colossians chapter, uh, what is that? Colossians, uh, what is that? One and then, let's see, let's see. What is it? I think, no, no, it's Colossians 2 and 8. It says, beware, all right, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men. And when we go back to this image here, man, all right, our people see Little Wayne's, the Jay-Z's, uh, 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 the Kanye West, uh, uh, all these entertainers, all right, what do they do? They influence you to what? Chase the bag, man. You got all these uh, 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 wicked ass women rappers now, man, uh, that are telling women to shake that ass, bitch, and shake that ass, ho, and pop this and pop that, and you know what I'm saying? And, and, and what are they doing, man? Once again, they're spoiling our people through vain philosophy, man, all right? It says uh, vain deceit, man, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, let's keep that in mind, the rudiments of the world, because the Lord is not cool with the ways of this world, and most of our people become influenced by these so-called uh, uh, people that they uh, 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 idolize. And, and what do they do, man? They start mimicking the things that they do, man. To Down to the fact that they'll be trying to walk like you. They try to dress like you. They're going to try to uh, do the same things that you was doing. Like they'll hear a rapper say, yo, I used to sell drugs. So now they want to sell drugs. Oh, I was fucking this many women, this man, girl, or this girl's uh, uh, whatever, whatever. And they want to do the same thing, man. All right. Once again, as we read that Jeremiah 4, it speaks about what our people, my Lord says, my people are wise to do evil. All right. Because when it comes to wickedness, Jake excels at that, man. All right. The Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, they excel at that, man. When, it's, when the scriptures speak about uh, uh, that darkness has wickedly, all right, that evil has uh, 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 been uh, uh, multiplied in the earth, man, has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. A part of that is the fact that it's our people that's out here, man, all right, that's adding sin to sin and not in the spirit of seeking the Lord, man, all right, while he may be found, man, let alone repenting or, 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 or accepting or, 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 or thinking about correcting their corrupted ways, man, all right, because that's why the scriptures tell us, hey, our people don't even consider, because now in the times that we're in, you cannot tell a nigga, a, a Latino, a Native American, that what they're doing is not right, man. All right. That is morally wrong, man. All right. There is no more morals in this place, man. And there is no respect of the most high and his authority in this place. But guess what? Guess what? Hey, the most high, hey, he's going to get that respect back, man. All right. Because we have that faith according to Romans 11 and 7 that tells us the election, Adam and Ramadazai, beginning with our apostles and our elders, hey, that we make up that election that's going to obtain this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. All right. Until the end with the hopes to be saved because the scriptures tell us what he that endure to the end, man. All right. Meaning that we are uh, the hope for humble, fearful elect, man. We understand what we're involved in. We understand that this is not a sprint, man. That this is a marathon that we must what? Wait upon the Lord, man. All right. Not try to bear up our own arms and not try to fight Esau within his system. Or pretty much, how can you fight Esau with the blessing that the Lord has given him, man? All right. We have to be blessed with the words that the Lord has given us, the hope for humble, fearful elect. And the word tells us to do what? Wait upon the Lord, man. Because Yahweh Shai says what? Vengeance belongs to him. He's going to get that first lick. All, first lick. All we're supposed to do is what? Prophesy, 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 prophesy. All right? And, and continue to uh, not give the name of the Lord any rest, man. Continue to be a thorn in the, in the side of this uh, 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 nasty-ass, filthy-ass place, man. 
All right, now Colossians 2 and 8, once again, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the, the, the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Hamashiach, because these same rappers and entertainers, they tell our people, hey, happy, uh, 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 Merry Christmas, dog, y'all have a good Christmas. Hey, happy Easter to you and your family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all drink up and do it. You know, they, 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 they promote the traditions of this world, man. All right. Now, with that being said, Let's get a uh 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 let's get an understanding of how the Lord feels about the world, man. John 2, 1 John 2 and 15. What does it say? It says, man, look what look you can't make this up, man. Look what look 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 what the, the, the headline of it says, man. Right above in black, it says, What do not love the world. All right, don't get no planning in that, man. All right. We should know by now, man, pursuing the Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Who's in authority? Who's in rulership, man, of the world, man? So this is why the Lord is telling us, do not love the world, man, the ways of the world. Yes, we have to be uh, uh, users of the world, but not abusers, man. Meaning that we have to go out, work nine to fives, whatever. We have to go. We have to pay taxes. We have to uh, 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 abide by uh, Esau's bullshit ass laws. Because guess what? The Lord already told us to be users of the world, but not abusers. But we're not going to be out here pretty much using our cloak. For maliciousness, man, unlike two thirds of our people at this particular present time. All right, now this is first John 2 and 15. Love not the world. Okay, uh, once again, the headline says, Do not love the world. All right, and guess what? You have our niggas in the mind frame. Hey, the world is yours, dog. Everything in it, man. The world is yours. Get, get, get on your grind and get out there and get it, dog. The world is yours. And that's not the that's not the mentality of the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. Fuck this world because this world has an expiration date, man. All right, and we belong to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and and, and the Most High has promised us the everlasting inheritance that's way more vast and bigger than this bullshit ass, nasty ass world that our people try so hard to obtain, man. And that and that Tony Montana mentality of the world is yours, man. All right, why you want this world when the, when the Lord already said this earth is wicked, man? But you know what? Once again. As we showed that image with uh, Little Wayne, man, they they promote alcoholism, being uh, dr uh, junkies, all right, flunkies, and pretty much as we read that Colossians two and eight, they promote a uh, the traditions and the rudiments of 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 uh, of men and of the world, man. All right, now First John two and fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. And we can see that by a lot of these entertainers that love the world, man. Look at how they live so so-called lavish and so-called immaculate and all these big ass houses and driving all these fancy cars and having all these beautiful ass women. But guess what? Hey, the love of the father is nowhere in these guys, man, because at the end of the day, they aren't standing on the highway. They're, they're not in the mind frame. Let's say this. They're not in the mind frame of willing to lose everything and, and, and for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. They're not in the mind frame of standing on the highways and byways and professing the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And then also telling the goddamn heathens who they are, man. All right. Telling their enemies Esau exactly who he is, man. All right. Because when you when you try, when, especially uh, we can look at Nick Cannon, for instance, man. He knows he's an Israelite. But when he tried to speak up and stand on so-called business, what did they do, man? Hey, they, 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 they swept the rug from under his feet and, and, and uh, made him fall on his ass, placed him over their knee, and they pretty much buck broke him, man. All right? And, and for the whole world to see, man. He had to confess to a, a, a scumbag, all right? And so on. I mean, he had to apologize to a scumbag, all right? And pretty much... He just got a uh, 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 buck broke uh, in front of the whole world to see, man. All because he didn't want to give up riches and all because why? He's a lover of the world, man. All right. He didn't want to lose his show. All right. When hey, they pretty much told Nick, hey, man, listen, the name of your show is Wilding Out, bro. Don't you be wilding out trying to tell people, trying to wake up the people, man. But that's not Nick Cannon's lot, man. Yeah, he knows he's an Israelite and that's about it, man. All right. That's not his lot. That's not the Lord has not placed upon him to do what? To be a a, a a a a a teacher or a leader, all right. That's uh, uh for for men that that are denouncing this world, man. And as you can see, Nick Cannon, he and he went back to to speaking about that again, man. All right, because he was he's been compromised, man. All right. But going back to the scripture, it says, "For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, 
The lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. All right. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh abide forever. Because guess what? All these niggas that love the world, things of the world, possessions of the world, these women, cars, houses, uh, uh, money, materialistic shit. Hey, as the scripture just said, the world passeth away, man. All this shit is going to come to naught. But guess what? He that abideth to the will of Yahweh by Shema Washai shall what? Shall abide forever. All right. Meaning that the Lord is going to make a, uh, 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 he's going to, he, he has special plans. All right. For the, for the election, man. All right. Going into that, uh, second address, uh, uh, what second address, uh, uh, the vision of address, man, with that ceremony. All right. About the hopeful, humble, humble elect being crowned with, uh, crowns, man. All right. Seeing Yahweh Shai, man. So on and so on, man. All right. This is the mind frame of the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, not trying to set up shop and carve out a space uh, 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 for ourselves here on this earth, man. And like a lot of these other false Israelite camps that are doing what? They're trying to uh, uh, compromise and, 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 and make treaties with goddamn Esau, who's notoriously known for doing what? Breaking fucking treaties, man. All right. Scriptures tell us that. Woe to you that write unrighteous decrees, man. All right. So why the hell would you be trying to, and then also the scripture said, never trust thine enemy, man. So why would you be trying to uh, uh, trust a goddamn uh, a deceiver, man, the devil, man? All right, or better yet, trying to uh, have a neighboring community with your god dog on enemy, man. That that's that's madness, man. All right, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. Hey, we were, hey, the Lord is going to annihilate, totally annihilate our enemies, man, and then we're going to be able to live in peace, man. All right, because the scriptures tell us, man, that this is not our rest, Micah 2 and 10. All right, there is no peace in this place, man, at this at this present point in time. All right, but it, but it will be, man. All right, because they, the scriptures say when the, when the uh when the wicked bear root, the people mourn, man. All right, all right, and, and we're not definitely not in the uh, spirit of rejoicing right now, man. Matter of fact, let's read that very quickly, and I'm going to get um I'm going to get uh James. All right, going back into the ways of the world. And this is, uh, what's that, Proverbs 29 and 2. All right, this is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And this is why the earth and, and the people are in a mourning state of mind, especially the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, the ones that are in the mind frame of sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. But when the righteousness are in authority, when the righteousness is going is in authority again, we're going to truly be in that mind frame of rejoicing again, man, because wickedness is going to be totally put out, man. All right. Our people are not going to be in that mind frame of uh, doing uh, evil things, man. All right. They're going to be fully uh, in the mind frame uh, of doing uh, uh, righteous things, man. They're going to be in the mind frame of wise to doing righteous, not wise to doing evil, man. All right. Because. When you sit back and look at our people from them celebrating paganistic holidays, all right, from them uh, uh, worshiping a false idol, idols, period, man. All right. There's so many things that our people are involved in that are not pleasing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. Our people are totally destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. And that's a damn shame because definitely we're in the age of information and getting understanding. Pretty much where things can be uh, uh, pretty much common sense, man. All right. But hey, once again... Romans 11 and 7, the election will obtain it, meaning that the Lord is only dealing with a small number of uh, men right now at this particular time. And, and as well as uh, uh, the one third that the Lord is going to have mercy on pursuing Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. All right. Now, um, let's read James 4 and 4, because as we just read 1 John 2 and 15, all that is in the world, the pride of life, the, the lust of the eyes, the lust of flesh. All right. Because that's a hey, once again, they tell you to drink. And smoke and, and and live it up and and, and fuck as many uh, uh niggas uh, women as you want to and and be on demon time and all this other bullshit man and that's not a Yahweh Yahweh shy man that's some pride of life shit the pride of eyes shit man some 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 lust of the flesh man lust of the uh, of the eyes man all right because everything that 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 looks good is not always good for you man and this is the the mentality that this world pushes man all right now, this is the book of James chapter uh. What is this book of James chapter 4? 4, it says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is empathy with Yahweh? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. All right? 
So uh, pretty much, man. Uh, I was reading along a little bit. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me read a little bit more. It says, "Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy, but he giveth more grace? Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. Thou will resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble." Cause there's a lot of proud niggas out here, man. That that's in the love, that's in that uh, pride of life spirit, man. All right, and the Lord has only given His grace right unto the humble, man, the meek of the earth, man. All right, the ones that are not uh, our friends with this world, man. Because uh, a a lot of niggas they get puffed up when they start getting a little bit of uh, money, or which is uh, Federal Reserve notes. They get a little notoriety. They get a little a, a little uh, a mansion or a, a couple of cars. As the scriptures say, man, there is a forgetfulness. In, in the day of prosperity, man. All right. Like they, they forget about the struggling that they, they were going through and they're, they're easily compromised, man. All right. Not standing on any type of forms of integrity, man. All right. But guess what? The Lord, hey, the Lord has a lot of niggas in the trick bag, man, because they're going to find out the hard way that that money that they're saving, uh, 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 whether they're millionaires or billionaires, that that's not going to be, that that's not going to be able to do anything for them when all hell breaks loose and all Jacob's trouble is in full effect, man. I write all these goddamn uh, rappers with their millions and all this uh, jewelry and 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 all their, their their women and all this other uh things. Once again, their material things that they're holding on to that's not going to benefit them any good in the day of uh, of the Lord, man. All right, it's not going to do them any good, man. The only uh, like only good that's going to going to going to do them, man, is that it's going to be um they might be able to um buy them uh, some extra seconds, man. While, while people are ravishing their homes before they put their ass to death, man. All right. It might buy them a little bit of time to potentially escape or whatever it may be, but it's not going to do anything towards your salvation, man. All right. The keys to salvation is what? Uh, let's read it. Let's, let's read it very quickly. All right. One of the, uh, one of the uh, uh, many keys to salvation. Let's read. Um, what's that? Isaiah 33 and six, man. All right. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, all right? So in the times that we're in right now, it's about seeking the Lord while he may be found, getting this wisdom, and not only getting this wisdom, applying this wisdom to your everyday uh, uh, everyday walk, man. It says, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man, because guess what? In these perilous times that we're in right now, man, hey, these scriptures is what keeps the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man, stable, man, all right? Because I, I, I don't even want to imagine if I didn't know this glorious gospel and I, and I didn't uh, I know the apostles and the elders or, or my eyes didn't see the teachers. I don't even want to imagine a mind frame that I would be in but because pretty much I can see that from what the, from the, from the, uh, from the what not to do's man, all these other uh, people out here that shouldn't, shouldn't be doing this ass niggas out here, man. You can see that from how they act, man. All right. So it's truly a miracle that the Lord has, has pretty much has given us this inspiration to receive this man coming in that humble state of mind to receive this grace man all right and pretty much to use our cloak uh, uh for in, in a sense of righteousness to practice the, the 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 righteous acts man to rehearse the uh righteous acts man because most of our people are, are going away backwards man they're in the mind frame of revolting more and more doing wickedness they're in the mind frame of not seeking the lord and pretty much they're in the mind frame of being comfortable they're secure in their goddamn captivity man all right, but the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, as we're going to go back to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasures. All right, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, we're in the mind frame of fearing the Lord, going back into, and that's where you get the wisdom and instructions. All right, but fools despise uh, 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 instructions, man. All right, and most of our people are foolish, as we just read about them being sottish in Jeremiah 4 and 22, meaning that they're extremely stupid, man. All right, meaning that they're 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 comfortable. All right, they're 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 not uh, looking for any stability because why is that? They have been spoiled, man. They're in love with the ways of the world, and they they will consider themselves stable, man. All right, you have people say all the time, "Oh, yo, man, I just gotta find me a good job, a good woman, get a good little stable job, and and just be stable, man." But well, what about seeking the Lord, man? All right, what about working on your relationship with the Heavenly Father, man? Ten times more, man. According to the scripture, wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures of knowing your how about Shema Shai is the true form, form of stability. You hear people all the time, oh, I got to be financially stable, all right? And, and the true riches equate to uh, knowing the scriptures, man, all right? This is the true riches, man. So this is how you uh, become financially stable by coming back 
to the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Now it says, and the fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. And, and, and uh, the hope for humble fear for the elect, man, we hope and we pray that we are that treasure. All right, that the Lord is uh, uh, pretty much is, is going to preserve, man. All right, We're going back into being the remnant of the Heavenly Father, man, and His only begotten Son, man. The hope for humble, fearful elect, man. All right, so um, once again, man, and our people, they they love to listen to, you know, this little this rap shit, you know, and they'll probably even listen to this other guy right here, even though he's not making breaking news about uh, uh, this rap. The, the, uh, rappers and you know just idols uh, and our people worshiping and glorifying uh, these people this is not breaking news it's something that our apostles our elders and our apostle elders elders have been uh pushing for years man all right they've seen it all man all right they've seen our people go down many goddamn wrong rabbit holes man all right and, and they continue down just a, a path of destruction instead of saying hmm this isn't making sense man hmm this isn't uh, uh this isn't adding up man all right, that's why you know a hey, a hey, the Lord is a is is a very cold spirit, man. All right, so it, this is not a a play thing, man. All right, when, we, when we're when we're studying the scriptures just to show ourselves approved, because we truly believe and have full faith that hey Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to come back and redeem us, man. All right, even in in the mind frames that we're in now, we have faith in that because we can look at the stupidity of our people that are in that mind frame of going that broad way, man. All right. It's only a very small remnant of, uh, of, of men on the planet right now that sincerely believe in that name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, when we're calling on it. That sincerely believe that those chariots are going to crack the sky, man. That sincerely believe that these 300, uh, 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 these, these 300, uh, uh, what is it, 300 million, uh, 200 million, uh, Shalaki, um, I'm thinking about, uh, the, 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 the um, those missiles, man, these missiles are going to be shot off and destroy this place, man. We truly believe that hey, the earth is going to rock back to and fro like a drunkard, man. All right. And that takes faith, man. All right. So, hey, hey for the, the hopeful, humble, fearful, elect, our apostles, our elders, you know, our teachers, our eyes, seeing our teachers. And and, 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 and we just pray that we're, we're a part of that, uh, uh, that Jeremiah 1 and 5, the ones that have been ordained and sanctified since we've been in the womb. All right. So with uh, Lord willing, I pray that this quick video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles, our elders and our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say Shalom.